Week City. Hello and welcome to a new episode. Today I played a game called Dark Fairy, a really beautiful dress-up game where you can create any fairy of your choice. I wanted to make ten different fairies, five recreations, and five fairies of my own. So stay tuned to the end to see what awesomeness I came up with. I started with a fairy that is likely the most famous one in the world, Tinkerbell! Disney's Tinkerbell has a very simple design, so this was all about finding those iconic details. The big bun and the leafy dress were the most important in my opinion. I then went down to another animated fairy, this time Krista, from the movie Ferngully The Last Rainforest. I really like this movie, and Krista is totally my favorite one of all the characters. Oh my, the underwear in this game is so petite! was Bloom from the Italian TV show Winx Club. There are so many fairies in Winx, so I went with the main character of all of them. But my personal favorites are Stella and Aisha. to replicate Bloom's outfit because it's so unique and specific but I did my best with what I had to work pictures. This is Princess Marianne from the movie Strange Magic. The movie is only from 2015, so many of you might not have seen it yet. It's a very strange movie, pun intended, about love. But even if I think that the story was a little messy, I still really enjoyed Marianne and the villain the Bone King.
created fairy, I want you to try and make Queen Elsa. I know, I know, she's not a fairy, but I had seen this piece of fan art recently and it was simply too stunning to ignore. Imagine them be melted ice. prematurely when the former queen died in a battle. She spends her day studying the laws of the kingdom and during the evenings she listens to her subjects and any problems they might have. But during the nights she's a dreamer and fantasizes of epic adventures out in the big wide world. to her queen, prepared to protect her with her life if she has to. Carissa and Melhai seldomly talk to one another, even though they're together almost all hours of the day. But they have developed a kind of secret, wordless language between just the two of them. With looks, noises and gestures, they can communicate very well with one another. For example, if a person is making Carissa feel unsafe, she will itch her ear and Melhai will immediately know that something is wrong and take her to the side. and share all their stories with one another. Nora is not royalty in any way and could not be any happier. She's absolutely not suited for the life of fine gowns and big responsibilities. She would rather just flutter around from place to place, talking to strangers, not having to worry about what time it is. Hmm, that sounds a lot like me!
Reba. She's the royal gardener and is deeply in love with the queen's bodyguard. She owns her own shop but is very shy and thus therefore not like to do the flower errands. But whenever the queen orders flowers from her shop, she will rush over to the castle immediately. Anything for a chance to see a glimpse of Melhai. She talks with the queen as if they were close friends, but she does not dare to say a word to Melhai. She's way too shy and nervous for that. Other fairies think it's because she's afraid of her, but like I told you, she's just in love. friends call her. She's an alchemist, but not a royal alchemist. The queen comes to her with the most important magical potion assignments because she's the only one she trusts 100%. She's too afraid that the royal alchemist will poison her, so she prefers going to somebody she has known before she became a queen. Ingani likes to be by herself and invent new potions, but she's a very good listener. That is why Reba often comes over and talks about her unanswered feelings of love while Ingani just drinks tea and nods in silence. I created towards the end, I had a lot of fun coming up with their designs. If you want to play this game too, you can find a link in the description box below. Have fun playing and see you again in the next episode!